guys, it's Vandra, and I'm going to be showing you these guys. I got two new pull-up dolls that I found, and I'm going to do an unboxing. I found these at Tuesday morning. I got really, really lucky that I found an Isul. And I found this girl, and this is a Dal. And um, I got really lucky. I hit the jackpot today, and I'm gonna unbox them a little. They are gorgeous. I love the boy the most, but because I love the boy dolls a lot. But um, yeah, here he is out of his box, and um, I'm gonna take him out. And show you all the details. Here we have Day Day. She's going to join me with this unboxing to show you all the details. It's pretty tough to get them out of the box. Um, they got them tied up to the box pretty good, so it's kind of hard to get them out. <clears throat> Hi, Boo. Are you coming to join? You want to help me and Day Day? Good girl. Well, here's the hat. I really, really, really love this. All these accessories and stuff. Definitely check out Tuesday morning if y'all have a Tuesday morning. I'm, I'm definitely going to go by there more often to find pull-up dolls because they're so expensive online on their web stores and you know it's pretty rare finding them in stores here like that you know that's probably the second time I have found them in a Tuesday morning it's really 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 good to find them there they're cheaper you know so y'all should you know check the Tuesday morning if you'll have a Tuesday morning and pick up, pick them up and stuff, because it's so much better. If you are getting a specific, you know, model, then you know I would order it off of, you know, their stores, eBay, Amazon, or whatever, because you're more likely going to find it. You because there, there's no telling what, you know one will be in a Tuesday morning, but if you ever come across one, I'd pick it up. And, um, here's some of my pull-up collection. Minus her and, um, um, most of them are customized. Most of them are going to be slightly customized. But um, this one right here is very customized. But I still need to uh, get a longer wig. Because he's based off of Volk right here on my channel. And Volk right here is very long now. <laughs> not, that, not this kind of style anymore. It's really long now. So I need to change it. And, um, but he, he needs a new body too because this one needs some work, but I needed to go ahead and get another one. She's, you know, she's a little bit customized, but, um, everybody else is, you know, and I will probably get in more detail of them. In the future, because I still have one more that's not displayed right now, because she's being worked on. Isn't that right, Mr. Pingy? Newt, newt! So, um... I will probably do a video, if y'all are interested, I will do a detailed video of my whole pull-up collection. Hi, Day Day. Say hello to everybody. Say hello to our vamplings on the channel. 
Say hello, Day Day. Day Day is here to join me today. And we are going to get some better details of these amazing dolls. And here's the boy, and this is the Isul. And um, he is my favorite out of the two. I just really like the boys a lot. And I just absolutely love the girl too, but um, it's just, I don't know. I really like boy, the boy dolls. So I have, I have three pull-up dolls that are boys. I have two Taiyangs and I have this Isul here. And he's um, Halloween themed. So here's his stand. Volcre in the background on the picture frame and uh, Day Day being nosy and here's his shoes and his tights and his pumpkin pants and everything is extremely detailed like look at the buttons and chains and there's a lot of layers with his outfit and um he's just he's just really amazing this is one thing I don't like about his wig is this long random part but I just put it in the back and you can't tell the other uh, overall, I um, I like like his wig. It's really, it's really pretty. Here's a um, close up on his face up, and his eyes are actually pink. I mean, they look brown on camera. Well, you can see a little bit of a pink tint there, but this is his face up. And his hair is green and it's got little hints of blue in there. And we all know that feature that a pull-up doll has. And there's the rest of his face up. And his hat. It's kind of um, Mad Hatter-ish in a way, but a Halloween version. Because of how funky the prints and the layers and the bows and the buttons, you know, are kind of like Mad Hatter and the big giant hat, you know, like, kind of reminds me of that, but Halloween. But he's just a Halloween doll, that's all. I mean, the details with these dolls are just amazing. Look at this bag. All these little details. That's a coffin bag. Um, I'm not quite sure if it opens or not, but I mean, there's a. There is red lining inside. I imagine you open it somehow, but I'm kind of scared to open it, but I'm sure you can open it. And now, here we have Boo, baby Boo. She is named Boo because she's white, and you know Boo from Mario is white, so we named her after a video game character. Except for Day Day, she's not, um named after anybody specific, but, but Boo is, isn't that right, Boo? Come to join and tell everybody <clears throat> on the vamp team, hi, hi vampies. <clears throat> and here's uh, the doll. 
This is my third Dow because I the one over I have uh, actually two. I have a mini Dow, and then I have this Dow, and I will get in more details about those dolls. But um, here's the Dow. I'm just oh my gosh, these dolls, these two dolls are so. They're really, really gorgeous. I just can't get over the details. I'm obsessed with them right now. Just all the ones that I have, really. I'm just really obsessed with them. They're a perfect part of my doll collection. And, um... I was really lucky to find them at Tuesday morning. Because, you know, they are from Korea. They're very, very expensive. And hard to find and finding them in a store like that lucky but she here's her face up she's got glittery purple eyes and um, I don't think these two are all that popular but having them in person I don't see how they're not there are other ones that are more popular than them, but I don't see why these two aren't as popular. But she doesn't blink. She just moves her eyes a little. So you can't see all of her face up. That's very, very gorgeous. I love the peachy tones. It actually goes good with that purple for some reason. I don't know why, <laughs> but I love the peachy tones. Mm. Very beautiful. And her hair is kind of um, peachy too. Like it's kind of pinkish and there's like little pink highlights. Like the hair is peachy, but there's like peachy pink and then there's like these lighter pinks in there. And I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> um, the dress, again, really, really detailed. All these lace trims and flowers. She's kind of Marie Antoinette like. <laughs> And her choker. And these little ringlet curls. And um, let's uh, go to the back. Ringlet curls. I am definitely not going to be touching my hair that much. I don't want it to get messed up. Now, I, right, if this angle it looks blonde. <laughs> Which is cool, it kind of like changes colors, but it's it's actually a peachy peachy color with pink. I'm really blonde right now on camera more than in real life, but it looks really blonde. Which is cool. Um I gotta be careful. That's why I don't wanna clip her hair, I mean her hat to her hair, because I don't want to get messed up because of clips right here where you can keep it on the hat. I mean, on the hat, on the hair. <clears throat> um, really pretty, really, really, really pretty and detailed. You silly. No, ma'am. But, yes, very gorgeous. Oh, yeah, the. The choker does have a bow. I didn't even show that. I just didn't want to touch her hair. And her shoes. Super cute. And she's got little bloomers and um, stuff to give her a uh, dress poof. Isn't that right, boo? But 
but yeah. If y'all would really like a detailed video of my pull-up collection, please like the video. Let's get this video liked. And uh, say bye, boo. Bye. Thanks for watching.